Hi guys, today we're going to talk about why books is not important for cybersecurity. Now, I've been asked the question so many times, which book should I buy, which PDF file should I get, and so on and so on. Okay, so let me, let me be 100% absolutely clear. I was born at the moment in time where the um, book was really important because we didn't have the access as we have today. There were no internet back then, all right? So when I was around uh, 16, 18 years old, the internet began to like blossom a lot more. It is not that long ago, guys. It is like 24 years ago. It was really difficult to find good books on the internet. Now you can find everything on the internet. So what happens when people can get all the books they want? They gather them down, they save them on a disk, and nothing happens with them. That is the all problem. When you get a book, you don't read it, you don't use it, you just have it, so you can look at it at some point in time. I call that gathering your trophies. Now, what good does it do to you if you can gather all your trophies in one of those large repositories people that share on Facebook or different kind of places, and you can get all the material to SANS courses and, and and whatever course you can get for cybersecurity. What what's good it's gonna do to you if you're not gonna do this, the certifications, I will not bet that you never opened it. Okay? Probably one of you guys gonna post a comment to this video saying, hey I read it. Good for you. That's really good. The books are great, but do you use it? You do not probably use it to the purpose they were meant to be used to. So I propose a totally different approach to you. Instead of using all the books and getting all the whatever files you can get and saving them up and losing the value because it's a different version and oh, don't do that. Use the most common used practical approaches these days, which is just doing it hands on. Cybersecurity is hands-on, most of it. Depending on what you're going to do, if you want to do red teaming, it is 100% hands-on. If you want to do like cyber defense, well, do some hands-on exercises. If you want to do pen test, hands-on exercises. Do you want to communicate, then go out and communicate. That is really the thing that I say you should do. So how would you learn stuff and things? Well, obviously, at some point in time, you probably took an education. I guess you did that. If you haven't done it, well, then do some. Um, if you took an education in, in pedagogics or something like that, or, or you're, you're a plumber or something, well, then you it's a far way from cybersecurity, but you can still get there, right? You just keep going and keep studying in a way that makes sense to you. For some of you people that are like plus 30, might make sense for you to open a book. I will be honest, I haven't opened a book to learn about cybersecurity for like five or six years now. Before that, I did open a book here and there, but mostly because of my SANS certifications that I did actually prepare for. They gave us a book, call it whatever you want. I call it a mess, because that's how SANS courses are, are made with the material. It's a mess, you need to create the index and eh. Okay, but the course is good, the teachers are good, thumbs up for that. Okay, so go ahead and do some practical approach to cybersecurity. All right. If you want to learn about, let's just pick any topic here on the board, uh, cybersecurity awareness. Well, why don't you just go to ChatGPT and ask for that? Why don't you do it? It's like, why not? It's a free resource. It knows much more than you. It will be able to answer almost any question you have. Remember that ChatGPT is not a search engine. So basically, you, you can ask it to, to piece something together for you, and then you can use it as an approach to learn more. All right? Uh, let's say you want to learn like cybersecurity introduction. Well, go to ChatGPT. Go to Google and type introduction to cybersecurity. Watch some videos and learn things that videos talk about. How will you get the practical approach? Well, that's really up to you then, because even a book will give you a zero practical approach. What I'm really suggesting is like um, how to gather your knowledge and how to get it. And the way that I do it is just to, well, just take a step out of it, in it, sorry. Like take a step in it and it's like, I'm not in the circle. I'm in the circle now of knowledge. I feel like, whoa, so many things to learn. 
and you just keep on saying, well, that's great. Then take one topic, take another topic. When you took like five to 10 topics out of the 100, you will begin to see the overall picture. And when you see the overall picture, that is when you are probably ready for a job of some kind of thing or so, right? Before you see the overall picture, I would bet that you're not ready for a job. Uh, you will probably not be good at it. So please do yourself that really, really good thing. Take yourself time to learn some materials to get the overall bigger picture. Don't buy a book. Instead, invest in some good courses online. Do that. The text you need to, to, to read, sure, you might need to do something. But try and do more hands-on with a, as little text as possible. You will learn the same thing. You might not get the same academic approach. The more academic you get, the less you can probably do when you're done. The more hands-on you can do, the more you can probably do, and the less academic you probably can communicate it. So depending on what you're going to do, if you want to communicate to academic people, well, it's probably not a bad idea to get an academic education first in anything, communication or biology, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Just something to get the learning experience of how you talk to people like that, right? And then go to cybersecurity. Now, this was just kind of just a, a, a pop, you know, a, a video me talking about, well, do this, do that. If you use this, then do it. If not, then you know, pick another path. Do whatever works for you. This is just my idea for you, my approach, what I kind of do already. And if it works for you, it works for me, that's great. If it doesn't work for you, pick another path. All right? So see you again online. Have a really nice day.